Jesus came from heaven to earth to save man. Luke 19.10 Jesus died for us on the cross and then left us the Bible to explain how to be saved. It contains a clear plan of salvation. First, the salvation process begins through hearing, reading and discovering. As it was written in Romans 10.17, so then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Second, to be saved, we must believe in Jesus as God's Son. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. Mark 16.16 16. Third, Jesus commands that we repent of sins. This means to be sorry for our sins and to change our sinful behaviours. Jesus said, I tell you, no, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Luke 13, 3 God now commands all people everywhere to repent. Acts 17, 30 Fourth, Jesus asks us to confess to others that we believe in him. If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God has raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Romans 10.9 Fifth, Jesus requires that we be baptized in his name to have our sins forgiven. The Bible says, Repent, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Acts 2.38 And there is only one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Baptism requires water. Acts 8.36 Much water. John 3.23 Going down in the water. Acts 8.38 And then coming up out of the water. Acts 8.39 It begins as a death to our old life a burial, and then a resurrection to our new life, a newborn babe in Christ. The final step of salvation is the longest. We must then remain faithful to God for the rest of our days. Revelation 2.10 Jesus will help us every step of the way. Hebrews 13.5 And bring us to live with him in heaven.